Hello everyone! Welcome to Downtown Tailoring. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to extend the life of your children's clothes by using nice patches. You are going not only to save your pocket, but as well to save the planet. Let's keep all those clothes out of the landfill. So let's go! If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe. I have some patches for you. I draw myself my patches and I'm linking in the description box a few patches that I use for myself. If you want an explanation of how to draw your own patches, please let me know and I can do a quick tutorial. Let me show you something very easy that you can do when you have a hole in a strategic place like this one. This is in the waistband. I'm just gonna sew an embroidery patch that more or less goes with the color and with the theme. So I pin it in place and then you just go all around. I try to use the same color of the thread at the top and inside the color of the garment inside and look at that it looks so beautiful this is another example in this case a patch in the <coughs> behind will look probably a little bit mm, odd so we just place a pocket on top and now it's kind of a fashion in order to sew a great patch I want to show you a few things. The first thing is the line. You have convex line, you have concave line, you have outside point, inside point, and straight lines. So I have this cute t-shirt, but it has some nasty stain. So the mom wants to cover them, and I'm going to use a nice heart. I want to show you what you have to consider when you are sewing a patch. If you have an inside corner, it's better rather to start sewing in this inside corner because you need a very big snip. You pull your thread to make it easier to accommodate your patch. Remember that I already explained that on the elbow patches on a shirt and I'm just leave this video link in the description box down below. When the line is convex, you have to really remove some material of the seam allowance, like I'm making your snip in a triangle way. So when the material is folded, it won't ruffle and you won't have so much material on top of each other. So if you have a concave line, you have to make snips so when the fabric folds outwards, it will allow the fabric to open a little bit. For the inside corner, you have to make a big snip just until the fold. I really don't like those inside corners because uh, it's uh, almost impossible to clean them. And if you are going to do it, at least try to make the angle as obtuse that you can. And then after you iron everything and your patch is ready for sewing. In this case, I'm going to use this patch in something else because I already prepared it. But for my little t-shirt, I prefer to use a stretchy material because I prefer to sew a stretch over a stretch. And when I have it ready to sew, I will mark the heart where I want to place it. I'm going to place it on my shirt and I'm going to secure it using pins or you can glue it using a water soluble glue. You know, you do what you think is the best and more comfortable for you. And then you go and sew all around and look at that. It looks really cute. Oh my gosh, I can imagine that baby wearing this beautiful shirt. Now it's special. For my next patch, I'm using the computer because I want to cut geometric figure to do a patch with the help of the paper. So I'm going to print as many as I need. In this case, I print two, but I think I will need a third one so it looks better. And I'm going to use more or less a similar green that I have already in my jersey shirt. And then I'm going to 
cut my patches leaving around one centimeter or three eighths of the inches outside and then very careful using a needle i'm gonna fold and sew all around you don't have to be too perfect but the best you do the best it will look you do the same in your three patches you see they look more or less like that when i have the three of them i'm going to my ironing board and i will iron them and then i'm going back to my shirt and i'm going to place them the way that they look good remember the paper is still inside and you can leave it like that don't worry because nothing will happen with the paper well, uh, well it will yeah it when you wash it but it's okay and you can just glue it on place and then you just need to go and do a top stitch all around the three and it will look really really good to do my top stitch i prefer to put the material inside out because that way i have an easier access to this shirt and after you do your top stitch you just remove the old thread and look at that it looks like a really like a very nice design and you don't have to complicate your life too much doing that i've been asked a lot as well how to do square patches and let me show you with this example that i have to work with so when i'm doing the square patches very often i prefer to use two patches so it looks a little bit more intentional so i'm using these two colors that are a little bit contrasting and i cut the patch the same size but if you cut them the same size it kind of boring so i will mark more seam allowance in one than the other when i have my seam allowance marked I will just prepare my patches by folding all those edges before I sew it. So I have many ways to do it. In this way, for example, I'm folding the corners first and then I'm going to fold the sides. I do it this way so the corners are not bulky and are a little bit more pointy. Anyways, you have to be careful because you can make a lot of mistakes, but it's just a patch, right? We don't have to be too picky. You can just fold the corners like that as well. But the thing is that very often the seam allowance sneak out and then you can see it. But if you make sure when you are ironing it that, you know, to push it back a little bit, you are going to be okay. And probably that way is just easier. Anyways, it looks good all around. And after that, you can just glue it using fabric glue. But I prefer in that case, using a little bit of hand fusing tape. And I iron and I make sure to make my patches more stable for when I'm going to sew it. So I'm going to place my patch there and let's just prepare the other piece. I'm going to show you another way to fold those corners. So you fold everything in the easy way all around and then you take all your corners and undo them and then fold it again and iron in the other way that way you make sure to have all the right lines in the right place and i think this might give you a sharper corner and something that i do very often that i like more than gluing is to make a stitch at one quarter inch in that case i make sure that my patch is all okay and then the final product will look like a, it has a double stitch now i'm gluing my patch to my pants and i'm going to sew it but just for sewing those patches in an easier way i prefer just to open the side seam and we have talked about that before open those jean seams is easier than we can imagine so i just go and open them and then i go and sew all the way around i like to sew around 116 of the inch more or less and now i'm going to glue the second patch 
and I'm going to sew it all around. And this is the result. It's so cute, right? This is not exactly a knee patch. If you want, I have a still to do this knee patch for these jeans. And I can do a short or something like that just to show you how I like to do them. Please let me know in the comments if you would like that. Do you have any little ones that you do alterations for? If you find this video useful, please give us a like and don't forget to subscribe, share, comment. Bye!